this month from the big finish torchwood monthly range we've got tom price as pc andy or sergeant andy he may have finally met his match we've got dog hop written by some of my favorite recent big finish writers stuart pringle and lauren mooney so andy he tries to catch a criminal by hopping a fence at the back of a cardiff pub unfortunately the fence breaks and he loses the perpetrator but he does start making friends with some of the people who work in the pub it's a really old-fashioned one you know with the cut glass mirrors you've got the regulars the carpets are a bit too sticky etc etc and he ends up chatting to nia who is the bar manager played by zadea campbell davis and nia has got a pet dog who she loves very very much who seems to have some weird marks appearing on the dog's head and seems to be behaving very very strangely let's play a clip from torchwood dog hop what are we doing out here you smoking? No fear, they make me cough. I just didn't want to... Oh, flick the switch on the heater, will you? Baltic. <laughs> okay. I want to tell you something, and you've got to promise not to take the piss. Scout's honour. Were you a scout? Well, not exactly, but... Oh, pinky swear, then. Huh? Pinky swear you won't laugh or take the piss, or you can just head off now. All right, all right, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so? So... So, uh, I think Rolo has dog hopped. Excuse me? Rolo and Carl? I think they dog hopped. You're saying words, but I have literally no idea what they mean. Well, I think that, oh God, this sounds stupid. Do you remember that film with Jodie Foster? Jodie Foster? In Dungarees. Her and her mum switched places. I've never seen it. Well, you're missing out. Anyway. That's what I think they're up to, calling the dog. I think they're trading places when no one's looking. Uh, I... Seriously, sometimes I look at Rolo and he's different somehow. Sad or afraid and he looks me in the eye and it's like he's saying, help, help me. I'm trapped and I don't know why. So you think... And Carl, you saw the way he looked when he came in, like something had happened to him. Yeah, like whiskey had happened to him. Maybe, but oh, I don't know. It's like there's something inside him, something animal, something... I think... Oh, I don't know. I just think they're up to something. I know, Rolo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. No, nothing to interrupt. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know about you folks, but I stopped believing in God when I realised it was this dog backwards. It's an in-betweeners joke. So that is the premise of the story. Sergeant Andy Davidson gets caught in some weird conspiracy where Nia is convinced that her pet dog has swapped minds with someone. There may be some credibility to this though, as people have been going missing in the area, the, no bodies have been found, they've gone without a trace, and next door is Rejuvenate, which is some weird new yoga, newfangled city slicking treatment that is contrasting with the old rustic pub next door. But Nia wants to write sci-fi she might believe in some conspiracy theories but of course this is torchwood there's probably something more going on here and with a premise that ridiculous with a premise that's relatively low stakes the main comparison that i went to with dog hop is an episode of goosebumps but it stars andy from torchwood i mean with the exception of a bit of like harsh language every so often this honestly could just be a episode of Goosebumps or Creeped Out or um, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I'm sure there are some other like children's uh, horror anthology shows, but this honestly felt like one of those episodes. It just happens to star a character from an adult sci-fi series made in Wales. So I think that there's a nice little will they, won't they romance or relationship friendship that's been that starts blooming between andy and nia the two have got some fun chemistry it's a fun premise and the ending is really really entertaining a story called dog hop the ending better be damn bloody entertaining but i think that is kind of it 
Now, Stuart Pringle and Lauren Mooney have done some really wonderful big finish over the past year or so. Like, they wrote one of the stories for the Ninth Doctor Adventures. They wrote Below there. They did the Dalby Spook for the Eighth Doctor Adventures, What Lies Inside, which is a really, really fun story that revolved around a talking mongoose that was haunting this family. So it's kind of like in that sort of territory. These are sort of the go-to fun, wacky, spooky sci-fi writers who feel like that they are writing an episode of Goosebumps. On that level, it's fun. It I don't want to say that it's fluff in like an insulting way. It is. It just is what it is. It's an hour-long Torchwood audio where Sergeant Andy, played by Tom Price, is trying to figure out if his crush's dog has dog-hopped with another person. It's just audacious enough to work. The cast are committed enough to make it work and make it feel credible. And it, like I said, it's got a fun ending. I, are you scared of the dark? That's what I was thinking of, the one who watches. that. Okay, I, there's so many of them that I tend to forget their names and they kind of like, uh, they, they sort of like blend together after a while. But yeah, it is Tom Price in an episode of Are You Scared in the Dark? And you know what? On that level, dog hops a lot of fun. It's nice to see the sort of like contrast between the uh, the rejuvenate and the Cardiff, uh, like the last remaining rustic Cardiff bar with the regulars and the sticky carpet and everything. There's some clear like uh, class themes going on here, but really we're just here for the fun dog hop story. And on that front, it does deliver. And also apparently this story was inspired by Tom Price actually getting a dog recently and the story kind of went from there. I don't know what more you want from me, folks. This is just a fun hour-long Torchwood story about dog hopping. And, and that's that's kind of it. Sometimes that's all you need. Not everything needs to be depressing or depraved or violent like other Torchwood stories. Sometimes you just, you just want to see the little doggies. Sometimes you just the, the little chihuahua on his shoulder. Oh, look, look at him. Oh. I'm more of a cat person myself, but still. Time cat? Um, There is no cat. One second. I hear jingling. It's Winnie. Hey, Winnie. Would you like another treat? Winnie looks kind of evil. Um, she is named after the witch from Hocus Pocus. 